always protecting your privates. I would not take a clipper anywhere near a dog's privates. Um, that can be carefully scissored with some not so sharp scissors. And you always want to go with the grain of the hair. I'm blocking the light. Okay. You can pull on the skin, pulling the skin taut. Going behind the ears. Floating out at the legs, floating towards you. We'll style the palazzo legs. Being careful not to get her ears. They're so tiny, you can clipper their body in just 10 minutes or so. It doesn't take long at all to give them a nice clean cut. Floating out for the legs. Staying away from here because there is a flop of skin, so you want to be careful. Going underneath. Going backwards now, we're going to be going up the middle, just down the middle, to make this part nice and short. When you go against the grain, it goes real short. In this part, we don't want to go, we want to follow the ribs. Nice following of the ribs. Again. Okay. Follow the ribs so that you don't have clipper lines. Follow the ribs. Staying away from the armpits. The armpits here are very dangerous. Uh, the skin can get caught. You go a second time. You can you can stre stretch the skin up and go behind the ears here. Being careful not to catch the skin under the arms. Please avoid the armpits. And Hi, baby. Okay. And next we're going to do this front area where we are going to gather her beard and we're going to go reverse up the middle. I'm going to tie her here. Please be careful never to tie the ear skin. We will tie this up just so that you can see better and also so we don't accidentally clip them. So we'll raise her up. Going reverse. Okay. Going reverse. Stop. Stop. Okay. So for the neck, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually switch to one smaller. This is a five stainless steel. It's it's half. This is six millimeters. This is three millimeters because I like to go shorter along the neck. So we'll go shorter. 
please be careful. Just pull on the skin to make sure there's no loose skin. If you have an older dog or if you have a dog that has loose skin here, then this loose skin can get caught. So if you're new to grooming, I would not recommend doing this. So now we're gonna go with the grain of the hair coming down. Okay, with the grain of the hair. I like to clean up behind the ears. Okay. I'm going to go clean this up. Okay. All right. Switch back to the six millimeter. And clean up the rest of the legs. Running out. Girl. Okay. Good girl. Almost done, babe. I'll finish up this leg. Okay. All right. So this front part. I'm going to clean up the tail. We're going to protect her privates. I won't go anywhere near her privates. But I am going to do her inner leg. This is a personal choice. We like to keep this hair free because of the pee. We don't like to have pee in our bed. We'll do that side. And then we'll do this side. Cover her privates. And just do the inner. And that's it. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna do her face. Okay, babe. So we're just gonna trim her up just, just a little bit shorter. Okay. And we're going to take some straight shears. And this we're just going to go straight across, straight across, nope, and if they fight you, you're going to have to be a little firm, nope, because, uh-uh, they need to know that they should not be fighting with you when you have scissors in your hand, so let's see. Don't chase my daughter's dog, and my daughter likes to have a shorter face because still chase so tiny. Nope. Nope. So we're gonna just cut her, let her know. No, no, no. That she shouldn't be fighting us. Okay. And you kind of have to comb comb and trim multiple times nope to make sure you get it all okay and she's going to be a diva okay let's trim this see how straight she is part, the very front part, I like to come up front and bring this forward and just taper this part because it tapers nicely when you do it like that and that way it blends in nicely. So we started out with some straights and we just attacked the beard with some straights, so and now I'm going to texturize it with 
these thinners, blenders, blend it so it doesn't look so chopped. And clean this up. Pop her ears down. What do you think? Trim her ears a little bit. There's some odd hair, so I'll just clean it up. So as you can see, Dolce loves to lay down. So we're going to see if we can't use this stand and groom. See if we can't get her to stand up. Okay. See if this will get her to stand up. Okay, Dolce. And let's look at our beard. Let's turn this way. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, Dolce. Do we need to go shorter? What do you think? Let's see. Don't she? Do we need to go shorter or you like it? Yeah.